Hello and welcome back to the Elo and Luna channel. Today we're going to continue our Spirit Fair playthrough, so welcome everyone. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, um, there's a link down below to the full playlist so you can catch up. And we're just going to start the episode by sleeping. A bit boring way to start the episode, but we'll get into playing the game after. Now, I know I had issues with the recording, not the last video I put up, but the one before that, and I do apologize for any technical issues. I'm having some problems with certain aspects of the game cause the recording to be really laggy for me, but the game on my end is fine when I'm playing it, so I only see it after the fact, and I've been trying to figure out what's causing it so I can get it fixed, but if you've been watching all these videos, I'm sorry we've been having that problem. I'm definitely trying to figure it out so we stop having that issue, because I know it's really annoying. Um, on the last video, we had the issue was two episodes ago, and we actually didn't miss much for the story, but we did miss getting everything on the boat set up, including our uncle's house. So I thought we'd start off today's video taking a tour of our uncle's house, which is down here. And he's just swimming in his tank sleeping right now, but it's a really interesting room for our uncle Atul, so we built that on the last time we played. But it was done off camera because I ended up cutting out that part. Let's talk to Astrid. Good morning, Astrid. I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. So we fed Gwen, not Astrid. They decided to stand right beside each other. Let's talk to Astrid. Mm -hmm. I mind this or when I was on the island with you earlier. I thought of smelting it for you, Munchkin, but I can give it to you instead if you want. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's get Astrid to smelt it. And let's check if Astrid is hungry. We haven't quite figured out what Astrid likes to eat. Mm -hmm. This is really good, Munchkin. You know I'm a simple person, and simple people love plain dishes. Unpretentious, simple food. And that is it exactly. Thank you. Oh, so we finally figured out one of Astrid's likes. So Astrid, we don't know favorite food, but we know that they like plain food, which is great. And no dislikes just yet. Let's see if Astrid wants a hug. And looks like Astrid is all hugged out. And you know what we can do now? We can cook this pork chop for our uncle. That's one of our quests. So let's get that in the oven. So we can give that to uncle today. And we're just exploring and having a look. Ooh, we found a location for nebula fiber. Awesome. We actually have quite a few quests that are looking for that. So we're just exploring right now and having a look around the map. Let's talk to Summer. And we actually have a stone to give Summer as well. So we can do that. Mm -hmm. 
So we got an amethyst, so let's give this to Summer. An amethyst? What a treat. Amethysts are healing stones, you know. Ailment, emotional issues, nightmares, and other afflictions can be cured with the power of amethyst. They're great to balance chakras as well. Specifically, the crown chakra. That's great, so we've completed one of the stones for Summer's quest, so that's perfect. And it looks like we're at the location we need to be. Let's talk to Gwen. Oh, Gwen has some fabric for us, that's great. No one wants to talk to us. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what we do here. Maybe we haven't unlocked this quite yet. Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, it says we're right here, but we can't seem to do it. And that was the quarry we were just at. Let's go to this other nebula location to see if something triggers. And we don't have any mail in the mailbox, so that's okay. Oh, that was a pretty good haul. I really like those seeds. I think every time we go to the merchant, we should always buy those. They pay for themselves. And is our pork chop done? Let's see. It looks like it is. All right, let's give this delicious pork chop to uncle. We'll just cook some of our sawdust as well. <laughs> Uncle, I got some food for you. Ooh. What? Pork chops? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited. <laughs> they look so damn tasty. Ooh. And they are. Ooh. Sprout, you're a miracle, you know that? Oh, this is just so good. Ha. Huh. Now I feel just a bit guilty. And I'm sorry you're running all of these culinary errands for me. Oh. Look, there was this kid at work, Craig, who used to have these long and tight union negotiations. Oh. All nighters, everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed. Oh. I would send Craig on these endless 24-hour grocery store crawls for me. I would ask for these impossible gits, saffron, sumac, and even anise. It was something like 2 o'clock in the morning. Ooh. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone, on both sides of the table. Ooh. To calm heads and to appease stomachs. The first part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig al would always find everything on my list. Ooh. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get this stuff. Jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how you did it, Sprout. Ooh. You made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. Oh, I love every time we give our uncle a delicious meal that he asks for. He gives us this lovely story behind it. Oh, and he's playing music. I think this is the first time we've seen our uncle play music. I just love that flute. I had to give it a minute for us to appreciate his music. And it looks like we're at the other location.
And we're not really getting an event, so... I think Nebula Fabric is something that's still not accessible to us. We'll have to come down here at another point in time to figure out how to do it. You know what? It probably means we don't have the spirit that we need to get the Nebula Fabric. We probably have to have a spirit on our ship that does this event. I noticed we're by a quartz dragon though, so let's go ahead to this quartz dragon and then we'll head to that new town. Got a base shrimp. Nice. Maybe we can do something fancy with the shrimp. I don't know if we've experimented with shrimp yet. What should we do? Shrimp and rice? Or shrimp and vegetables? Another squid. Looks like we're at the quartz dragon. Let's go have a talk. Once again, the dragon is back, Stella. Should we help it? Alright, let's get ready for it. jumping when it moved, but it didn't quite work. Uh, we didn't even need to get it to move, we could just go with a jump. We did really good. I'm surprised by that. Do you feel better, Dragon? Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it, however I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. No problem, Summer. More than happy to help. And it looks like the sun is coming up as well, too. Oh, 
Nope, it's still night, but we can still move. So let's start our trip to Furagawa. And while we're on our way there, let's have a look at that message in a bottle. Help me, I'm lost at sea. Hopefully this bottle reaches your friend. Here is my location on the map. Five, eight, minus 11. <laughs> That's just the merchant who we're bypassing. Now, is that spot gonna be marked on the map or do we actually have to find it? stopped for the night so I think we'll go to sleep now So it's a new day in Spirit Fur. So we're heading on our way to the new location. And let's just do some boat maintenance. I've been having fun just exploring, not really having anywhere in mind, just to see who we can find. I know I've been asking for a lot lately. I've got a big appetite. It goes well with my love of food, but you know what I would go for? A bucket of fried chicken. That would bring me back, because the best kind of food comes in buckets. Cooking sounds hard sometimes. In this case, it's pretty easy. And we discovered Furugawa, which looks beautiful. And this is a really big town. It's been a while since we went to a big town. Okay, so Uncle's given us a recipe for fried chicken. So we're going to need to find the ingredients for that. And it looks like Summer's playing for the plants, which is awesome. Doesn't look like we can water the crop because summer's over top of it. Now I wanted to try something. What can we do with squid and corn? That's an interesting combo. Let's see. And Gwen is here at the loom and is too busy to talk. Um, Astrid is in the guest house. Let's see if Astrid is hungry. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. mm. All right, so we gave Astrid some of her mm -hmm. favorite plain food. That's great. I guess it's time to go to Furugawa. Let's go, Daffodil. Oh, this place looks super pretty. There, before we go up there, let's see what's here. There's no secret? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Up the ladder as we go. I hope this city has a shrine because I really want to get another ability. Where is my brother? He should be here. I don't know where your brother is. 
this. No, thank you. I don't want to buy your magazine subscription or whatever you're selling. Now, where could it be? Oh, what impeccable timing. This looks like a spirit. I'm in dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the helpful type. Listen, I'm looking to complete this set of five traditional wood prints. They date from the Shiro period and as such are valuable. I have found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes me. Uh -huh. I'm certain it is in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it was recently in the possession of the local shopkeeper, Theodore. But he refuses to even acknowledge its existence. Uh -huh. What an irksome little man, raccoon, tenuk, uh -huh. whatever he is. But with your help, yes, with that sweet little smile of yours and generally non-threatening attitude, uh -huh. well, I'm sure you could smooze your way into acquiring that last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of this slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper. I can't wait. All right, so we got a quest. All right, so we're back in Furugawa. I realized I was having some issues again with lagging, so I stopped uh, the recording and I've restarted the game so we can get back into it. I'm not quite sure how much of the lag I'll cut out from the final video on YouTube, but uh, we're back here now and I just wanted to show you for Agawa and the fact that we met a spirit. Uh -huh. Ah, you're back. Did you manage to get the missing print? We talked to the raccoon and you weren't able to. So we're just going to tell the spirit that. No, it was already sold. Uh -huh. But how? Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you uh -huh. say? Of course. Of course it was her. Oh, that horrid woman. That dim-witted, egotistical, patronizing charlatan. She calls herself the Collector, if you can uh -huh. believe it. She doesn't even collect anything. Oh, I'm sure she bought the print only to spite me. I should have never told her about my collection. The ugly-ass sack face. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not one to wave away competition. The ugly witch is in hiding. In hiding from you. Uh -huh. I don't specifically know why, but the news of the new spirit fairer made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. How fitting. Yes, yes, you're the spirit uh -huh. fairer. Tell me something I didn't know. She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at these coordinates. Oh, we got coordinates for this walrus uh -huh. lady. Pay her a visit, would you? And when you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. Uh -huh. This? Oh, don't worry. It's just some junk Theodore gave me. We got a ceramic figurine. So it looks like we're going to have to do some quests for this spirit before the spirit will come on the boat. So it's going to be a harder spirit to get. So we already talked to the raccoon and just bought some pork chops. I was about it. So let's check out this shrine next. We can get glide. Oh, awesome. So I'm guessing the glide works on these kind of jet areas, which is why it's right beside that shrine. So we can't get up there. You'd probably have to use the glide. Hmm. I do have the two opals, but I don't know if there's a better move we can find. And we're actually coming back to this island at some point uh, to get that spirit. 
So I think maybe we'll wait because besides the mine that we were just at and this island, I've never seen this anywhere else. So I don't think the glide is gonna be super useful right away. So I think we're actually done with Furugawa and we can go back to the ship for the night. So I'll come back for you, spirit, don't worry. We'll go to that location and see the walrus lady who likes collecting things. And then hopefully when we come back, we'll be able to get the spirit to join the boat. That probably means we should build a house for Astrid before we get that spirit. So it's too dark to navigate. So let's have a look to see what we can do along the ship. And we have lots of seeds. But we bought a bunch of linen seeds, so let's do all of these linen seeds. Oh, it looks like our lettuce and our leeks are done. <laughs> I wonder who that is snoring. We don't have too many seeds for here. We should really look at what we need to get the orchard. That sounds pretty exciting. Let's see if we got a new recipe. No, we just made fish curry again. Hmm. Let's make some tea. Oh, I might as well stay here. It's so quick. Let's try something with that pork chop we bought. Let's see what a pork chop and a vegetable makes. I'm trying to remember how you get into that building. <laughs> it's been such a long time since we walked into the smelter. Oh, it's right here. It's hard to tell because it's uh, a different color. So it looks like we have a ton of iron. So let's do iron. This uh, mini game doesn't look too hard. The two needles are quite far apart, but I'm guessing later on, maybe some of the metals, the two needles are very close to each other. What happens if we make it 
really hot right away. Oh, that was pretty close. I don't think we're gonna have to push it though. Let's try the copper ore next. I think I liked what I did before, having it almost all the way. glass. We have a lot of glass. Let's see what happens when we do the glass. Oh, it looks like we need to add some more coal as well. So the glass is a bit tricky. quick to do. So what do we get from smelting the glass? <laughs> we got more glass, but different glass. Oh, and it looks like it's the morning, so let's wake everybody up. And I want to have a look to see what we have to build. So we have Astrid's bungalow. We can do a windmill, an orchard, and a sheep crow. So we need the nebula fabric to do the orchard, so we're not there yet. But we can do Astrid's bungalow. So you know what, I think let's build Astrid's bungalow. That's enough room. Astrid's bungalow is huge. So we definitely need to get a better boat before we can build Astrid's house. So I don't think we'll be doing that just yet. Ashford will have to enjoy the guest room. Oh, and Summer's gonna sing to the plants. Let's give Uncle some food. some food. Let's give Gwen Ooh. some coffee. And that's okay, Gwen, if you're not hungry. And you know what? Before we do anything else, I think we're gonna end it for the day here. 
So I'm sorry again about that leg. I'm really trying to figure out what the issue is. I've been playing around with the settings, but even when I change around the settings, I'm still having some issues. It's strange because when I play the game, I don't have any leg. It's just on the recording, but I'm really sorry about that. I'm trying to figure it out and get it resolved before I do any more recordings. So hopefully we won't have this problem in any more of the playthrough. But uh, despite the technical issues, I hope you still subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of my Spirit Fair playthrough. I hope you have a good day and you have a good week ahead. Bye for now.